phylogeny and taxonomy of order Coleoptera. The vast number of beetle species creates classification challenges with some families containing tens and thousands of species necessitating further division into subfamilies and tribes. The largest suborder, Polyphaga, includes over 3 million described species in more than 170 families such as the rove beetles, the scarab beetles and true weevils. Polyphagan beetles can be identified by the presence of cervical sclerites. Adaphaga, comprising of 10 families of mainly predatory beetles, includes the ground beetles and water beetles. Archaeostema, with four families, primarily consisting of the wood-eating beetles, like the reticulated beetles. Mixophaga contains about 65 species in four families, including small beetles such as those in the Hydroscaphidae family and the genus Sapphirus. They all primarily feed on algae. Beetle morphology, particularly the Electra, suggests Coleoptera is a monophyletic family through the arrangement of its suborders Adaphaga, Archaeostema, Mixophaga and Polyphaga. This has been debated. Strepsida, the twisted winged parasites, are considered a sister group to beetles, supposedly diverging in the early Permian. Molecular phylogenetic analysis supports the monophyly of Coleoptera. In 2015, research published by a group of scientists led by Dr. McKenna analyzed eight nuclear genes from 367 species across 127 coleopteran families and suggested multiple changes. Let's look at each of the suborders and the beetles found under them. Suborder Archaeostema. This includes some of the most primitive and ancient beetle lineages. It comprises of a single family, Capididae, commonly known as the reticulated beetles. These beetles are characterized by their elongated bodies, long antennae and distinctive wing venation patterns. They are found in various parts of the world, mostly in moist, forested environments and play a role in the process of decomposition. Suborder Mixophaga. The suborder Mixophaga has two families. They include a small number of species. These beetles are adapted to live in aquatic or semi-aquatic environments such as rivers, streams and even marshes. They are known for their elongated cylindrical bodies and their ability to crawl on submerged surfaces and organic matter. They feed on algae and other microorganisms found there. Suborder Adaphaga Adaphaga is one of the largest and most diverse groups of beetles. It includes predatory beetles like the ground beetles and diving beetles. Ground beetles are found in various terrestrial habitats from forests to grasslands. They play a crucial role in regulating insect population. Diving beetles, as their name suggests, are aquatic and often found in ponds, lakes and streams. Here they hunt for small aquatic organisms. Suborder Polyphaga Polyphaga is by far the largest and most diverse group of beetles and 90% of all described species are placed here. It includes a vast array of families from leaf beetles to weevils, ladybird beetles and others. These beetles exhibit wide range of feeding habits including being herbivores, fungivores, predators and scavengers. They also occupy a variety of ecological niches across terrestrial and aquatic habitats. The classification and taxonomy of beetles is based on a combination of morphological characters, molecular data and evolutionary relationships. Some of the key features used in beetle taxonomy include mouth path structure. The shape and structure of these mouth paths such as the mandible and maxillae can provide valuable insights into the beetle's feeding habits and evolutionary relationships. The second is the morphology of the antenna. The shape, the length, the segmentation can vary greatly among the beetle groups and they are used for identification and classification purposes. Patterns of wing venation. The patterns of veins on the wings, particularly in more primitive groups like Archaeostema, can provide clues about evolutionary relationships and taxonomic placements. Larval characteristics. The morphology and behavior of beetle larvae are important taxonomic characters as well. They often differ significantly from the adult forms and can reveal valuable evolutionary information. Molecular data In recent years, the analysis of DNA sequences and molecular data has become increasingly important in restoring and resolving taxonomic relationships and clarifying evolutionary history among groups of beetles. Let's look at some examples of well-known beetle families and their significance. Carabidae or ground beetles. This is one of the largest families of beetles with over 40,000 described species. 
ground beetles are found in a variety of habitats and play important roles as predators helping to regulate insect population cochinellidae ladybird beetles they are known as ladybugs or lady beetles and they are among the most recognizable and beloved insects around the world they are important predators of aphids and other soft bodied insects making them valuable allies in biological control efforts curculinidae or weevils the curculinidae family is one of the largest groups of beetles with over 60000 described species weevils are known for their elongated snouts and often associated with plant species where they feed on leaves stems or seeds scarabidae or scarab beetles this family includes Many beetles such as the dung beetle, rhinoceros beetle and chaffers. Scarab beetles play a vital role in decomposition, nutrient recycling and pollination. Some other species are of cultural and symbolic significance in other parts of the world. The taxonomy of beetles is an ongoing and dynamic field of study with new species being discovered and, and described regularly. As our understanding of their evolutionary relationships and molecular data continues to grow, the classification and taxonomy of beetles will likely undergo further revisions and refinements. However, this diversity and complexity only underscores the remarkable success and adaptability of these fascinating insects which have conquered virtually every terrestrial habitat on our planet.